My name is Brian Rowe. I'm a senior at Carney High School, 17 years old, and I play varsity baseball. Come on, kid. No. Nice, Brian. Nice, Brian. Nice, Brian. Get by him. School is always number one for me. Uh, coaches and parents always motivating me to do better in school. You have to do good in school for anything to happen in your future. And right now, I, I want to be a police officer. So when I get to college, I want to study uh, in criminal justice. Uh, right now, I got accepted to two schools: uh, Montclair State University and Kane University. So my SATs and my GPA have to meet up at a certain. Uh, level so I've I uh, studied for a few hours uh, uh, for a couple weeks for the SATs I always have time set apart to do good in school and everything I always come home do go straight to work after baseball and uh, I always have time to do something for school so that's always number one for me right now I play second base for the high school I uh, I've been on varsity as a starter for three years at second base uh, as a senior now, they look at me as a leader and they want me to to help do whatever I can to help us win. They don't want me to do too much though because if I overthink, I won't be able to do too well. So right now, I do everything I can to help the team win. And I'm also a pitcher. I'm the ace of the staff this year. I'm opening up our first game against Hoboken at our home field. So that's a pretty exciting thing. Well, Coach B, I don't know what else I could say about him. He's a short guy, but you gotta love him. He's always into the game, keeping you focused. He's he's been there for me since I've started high school baseball. He uh he he's always pushing me to do better, and he wants me to play my best no matter what happens. He's always on my back because he knows how good I could be and what I could do at situations. He's always looking for me whenever he needs somebody. Well, right now, when I go to the gym, it, since it's during the season, I don't go as heavy as I did during the off season, and I usually modify my workouts to fit my baseball needs, like for my shoulder, my elbow, my forearm, and everything like that. When you work out as a baseball player and as a pitcher, you always got to keep your cardio up. You always got to stay in shape, be able to run. Especially when you have all this lactic acid in your arm, you always want to drain that straight out. Go home, ice, put icy hot on, throw heat on. And then the next day, I usually go to the athletic trainer, put some uh, electronic stimulus in my arm. What that does is contracts the muscles in wherever you need it. Usually, for me, it's my shoulder and my forearm. And that, that's always a key ingredient to throwing because you'll have no pain in your arm that day when you throw it during practice. Whenever I have free time after baseball, school, and, and the gym, I, I usually go out with friends or like we'll do something fun. We'll, we'll go play basketball or something. Keep me in shape, keep me out of trouble, always have something fun to do. As a high school senior right now, all I'm looking to do is 
further my education and hopefully fulfill my dreams of uh, actually playing college baseball, uh, having the camaraderie of teammates and seeing them in school, on campus, around everywhere. Being able to play with uh, new faces, a new coaching staff, a new exciting way to play other than high school. Hitting is basically timing, everything's timing. When I get to the box, I like to look at the pitcher and let him know that I'm in there ready to see his best. I usually just like to establish a little rhythm. I like to move my back, give it a little little swing and everything, and then give it a little little rhythm bounce. As the pitch is coming in, you, you like to lock in and have straight tunnel vision the whole time you're in that box, you're ready to hit that ball, because anything can come. Fielding, you always want to be prepared, always take your prep steps, that's when the pitcher's in his windup, ready to throw, you're taking your steps, ready to go. You always want to be on your toes, ready for any ball hit at any position, because whether the ball is hit to right field, left field, you always have to move, because if you're standing still, you're doing something wrong, you're not in the play, you're not doing your job. Dive make the play, throw it, whatever you have to do to get that job done, you have to get that done. Pitching is one of the most uh, mentally straining positions that you could probably play w w in any sport. You always have to have your focus, like I said, you, ha you always have to keep your tunnel vision in pitching, knowing that no matter what you throw this kid, if he puts it in play, you, you know that you have seven guys behind you or one kid in front of you ready to field that ball. My name is Brian Rowe. I'm a senior at Carney High School, 17 years old, and I play varsity baseball.